We've had a little time to pause for breath since Pembrey, but now we've made the trip to Knock Hill in Scotland for the latest round of the Motorsport UK British Rallycross Championship Five Nations Trophy, presented to you by Cooper Tyres. And what a weekend we have in store. It's a fantastic track. The fans are so loyal, and so there's a prospect of top-class motorsport. And contact has emerged, Vittles, and another one emerged from the Joker. Green lights and go, good start from Toe Hill, great from Steve Hill on the inside, not so good away from Julian Godfrey, they squeeze each other down towards the first corner, Godfrey has to back out momentarily, Toe Hill's got the overspeed, smoke billowing from the back briefly of his Ford Fiesta, but he leads the way into the first corner, but going Joker now then is Steve Hill, let's see what's going to happen as he re-emerges, the brakes glowing red on that Mitsubishi Evo 10, he's slightly wide through the hairpin, Toe Hill is already coming through into that hairpin, it's going to be mightily close between them, but Toe Hill and Godfrey get themselves ahead over the line they come hill finishes third on the road in round five of the supercars to Derek Towhill here in Scotland. Green lights have blast off, good start from Ovenden, uh, O'Donovan rather I should say, great start from Vittles, Ovenden sadly does not get away well at all, that's exactly what happened to him in the first race of the day yesterday here at Knock Hill as well. He goes, Joker and contact has emerged Vittles and O'Donovan emerged from the Joker, oh a broken suspension surely there for Vittles, the car is crabbing down the start finish race and that's an end in dramatic fashion in Q1 race two here for Robert Vittles, pulled off to the side of the track on the grass by T1 and that is an unfortunate end for Robert Vittles and could have very big implications for his running here today. Revs are rising. Green lights and go, good start then from Godfrey, great start from Toe Hill, not bad from Hill on the outside of the front row. O'Donovan looks for an opportunity as he comes to drive through on the inside of Hill, but it's Toe Hill with the advantage over Godfrey. Steve Hill also going Joker as well at the end of the first lap. So Derek Toe Hill, the only driver who has not made his Joker, big old lock up on the front there for Julian Godfrey as he tries to get the Citroen DS3 slowed down. Off the gravel section then comes Derek Towhill at the end of lap two. He goes Joker then, has got a clear advantage. It was 7.9 seconds at the chequered flag last time around. And if he's been able to hold his pace with a lovely line through that Joker as well, he should be able to hold on to his race lead as he emerges onto the start finish straight. And you can see that he is comfortably now ahead of Julian Godfrey. And you can see the gap has increased a little bit now between Godfrey and O'Donovan, up to one and a half seconds as they start the final lap. So whatever O'Donovan has done to his car overnight if he's changed the setup. It's not working out at all for him so far. And Derek Towhill comes through the final corner over the line to take the win in Q2 race one here at Knock Hill from Julian Godfrey and then Ollie O'Donovan in third position. Problems for Julian Godfrey on the slowdown lap. There was a fire with this car yesterday in practice for Mark Donnelly and sadly it's reared its ugly head at the end of Q2 race one here. Green light to go, great launch there from Tristan Avedon as Vittles again fails to get away from the line. This is exactly what he did yesterday and that is from bad to worse for the Latvian driver. As he goes into the Joker, gets the car rotated, taking a nice tight line there and sliding that Citroen DS3 through into the chicane on the brakes, flick it left, flick it right, start finish race awaits and it's Avedon who takes the win in Q2 race two. Ready to race board on, green light and about to go. Now, good start then from O'Donovan on the outside. Good start from Towhill as well as he gets ahead of Julian Godfrey. Godfrey drops to the back of the field as Ovenden gets into third place then. Down to the first corner, we've got two Ford Fiestas. It's O'Donovan ahead of Towhill then. And see how close they are running to each other. It was just four tenths of a second, the gap between them as they came over the timing line. Very sideways on the gravel there for Ovenden and into the wall at the end of Q3 on the final lap. So that's put pay to any possible chance of taking second place there for Tristan Ovenden out of the final corner. Over the line, it's... Oli O'Donovan who wins Q3 race two from Derek Towhill. Ready to race for that is on, green lights and go. Great start from Bellamy on the middle of the front row. Not bad at all from Steve Brown. Sayer falters from pole position and drops down to third place already. And it's Bellamy versus Brown then for the race lead down towards the first corner. Bellamy's on the inside line. He's got track position. He hops over the curb and he has the place and the race lead. Sayer up the inside of Brown into the gravel as well. Pushes Brown wide. Up the inside he goes and through into second place then. Green light and go. Not a bad start on the outside there for Owen Robbins. Will Ovenden trying to drag alongside 
Max Langmay down towards the first corner. They run side by side as they head down the hill and in towards Duffer's Zip for the first time. Owen Robbins with the start, with the track position. So into the Joker then comes Max Watts. So this is the battle then for the de facto uh, race lead in this one. Owen Robbins being lent on there by Finley Scott and contact up the inside. Scott goes round, as does Watt as well. So both drivers off into the barrier. Max Langmaid, what luck, what brilliance, what drama, what composure from the number 15 as he comes around the final corner and across the line to win the final in the Junior Rallycross Championship. Green light and go. Good start from Bollock on the outside of the front row. Look at Bellamy though, she's away like a stab rat down towards the first corner, side by side with Bollock uh, and Bellamy then down towards T1 and Bollock tries to squeeze Bellamy, contacted to the first corner. That was really aggressive from Slamir Bollock, chops the nose off of Paige Bellamy and leads the way down into the Joker. He will go for the final lap for the last time of asking and it is going to be a win for Slamir Bollock in the Super National class in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship here at Knock Hill through the chicane. Oh, it's not though, because look at this, Jason Bleasdale's pulled something out of the bag on the last lap and Bleasdale mugs Bollock on the line then. Green lights and go, good start from Caldwell, not such a good launch though from POD. Patrick O'Donovan struggles to get away well, so it's Jones versus Caldwell then, down to the first corner. Jones on the inside, Caldwell on the outside. Who's going to get the whole shot? Who's going to get trapped position? Caldwell runs it around the outside, POD tries to follow him through there as well. And Caldwell does it, he gets the lead ahead. You can see O'Donovan really putting the pressure onto the back of Stephen Jones here as well, and running wide off of the exit of the gravel there as well. Just about keeps it on the straight and narrow, or does he? Because now he's going grass track down into the Joker. Can he get it slowed down into the hairpin? He's really trying everything he can, but somehow he does. Beautiful car control then from Patrick O'Donovan. Let's see what happens down towards the first corner for the final as we go racing. Good start then from Bellamy. Great start on the outside as well for David. It's not so good away from Tom Constantine in the initial phase as they come down towards the first corner. Look at Brown on the inside on the second row of the grid as well. Into the first turn. It's Bellamy that leads the way from Constantine then. Look who's there. It's Darren Bleasdale. He's going to be ready to try and take advantage if anything goes wrong between those two drivers or if they keep squabbling amongst one another. He may have an opportunity to find his way through and that's Dave Bellamy the race leader pulling off what drama here a mechanical problem surely for Bellamy and that is going to hand Tom Costline the race lead and look in the background as well that is Brad Turner who's off what's happened here smile about now as Tom Constantine comes out of the final corner and across the line to win the BMW Minis final for round six here at Knock Hill what happened then Dave um, really jumped out something so silly I've never had one happen before Green light and we're racing, good launch there from Toe Hill, great from O'Donovan off the front row, look at Steve Hill coming through on the inside as well, of Julian Godfrey down towards the first corner, Toe Hill leads into the first turn, followed by O'Donovan, look at Julian Godfrey on the outside now of Steve Hill, he's having to third place, great start then from Hill, so it's Toe Hill then, from O'Donovan, from Godfrey, from Hill, from Ovenden, from Vissels, who's made a really poor start off of that second row of the grid, a brilliant result here for Derek Tohill if the Irishman can do the business in the final. Look though at Robert Spittles in the 126 all over the back of Tristan Ovenden as he tries to find his way past the Citroen DS3 driver. Ovenden goes Joker at the end of lap two then. That meanwhile with Julian Godfrey and Robert Spittles, the Latvian driver has really got the bit between his teeth and he's all over the back of the DS3 here down into the braking zone into the tri-oval hairpin. Vittles goes Joker at the end of lap five. So through the hairpin goes the Latvian driver. Now, where is he going to emerge? It's going to be really close, actually, as he comes back onto the track here with Julian Godfrey. They run side by side on the exit of the corner, and Vittles manages to get the overcut perfectly then on Julian Godfrey, and is now sitting in second position as they come onto the final lap. Out of the final corner comes Derek Tohill. Over the line he goes, and he wins round five of the Five Nations British Rallycross Champion then here at Knock Hill in Scotland. That smile says it all. That was a very sweet win. Yeah, I tried to make sure we had a smile after the final. Had a hard time kind of this season at Pembury and but the hard work paid off and yeah, we we're kind of in control of that so it was quite nice. And it's a big fight off the start line with Ali. I knew it would be but I didn't let him bully me. I held my ground and uh, it was great.